I would like to do 70s look makeup tutorial today. It's pretty much the same as I did for my decades makeup looks, which I made during lockdown time. So I'm wearing the same shirt, same scarf, and the makeup was pretty much like this. I think it's lots of ideas here, very free, very fun. So let's try. I'm gonna clean the area with alcohol. Alcohol has to be 99%. Then press it section by section. It's actually very simple and easy, but just have to be careful. Just have to get used to it. Just make it very flat and brushing up and place the hair to where you want to be. And go out first. Just to cover around a little bit underneath the blows as well then pressing with this sponge pressing with a bit lighter color onto the blows onto the hair started to cover quite well because I'm not drawing eyebrows today then color is going to be on top so I wouldn't worry too much now I'm going to do foundation I'm using Estee Lauder today double wear it's a good coverage foundation so it's good for this look blend with Cleolan foundation Go through with Cleolan foundation again, just really press it. Powder it a little around the eye area because I'm doing that orangey eyes to the big area. So I need to draw the line first so I know where to put the orange. So it's gonna be quite big like this 70s kind of shape. So I'm gonna start here. Then just go over carefully, blows. Then over, kind of round. Then go to the other side of the eye. I just need to seal just a little bit. Doesn't have to be proper strong line. It's a bit like clown shape, clown eye, but in soft orange. To go with the shirt, to go with the feeling of 70s. I'm not doing clown makeup. Move on to cream base. So I'm gonna do this color with the flat brush. Start carefully. Especially around the, on top of the eyebrow. Just like pressing and stamping the color then wiping off then just fill the inside
the shape is quite good. Now I'm gonna do pencil. So just go through waterline. Top and bottom at the same time. Go a little bit stronger on top. Make sure between lashes are filled. Then now go back with gel eyeliner. So not too flipped up, just longer. I like it that like that. And bigger. And stronger the bottom too. It's just almost stamping little by little. Then I'm gonna put the mascara and then really push it up. I'm not using eyelash color today because this mascara goes up quite well. And then I'm gonna put four eyelashes, so it's gonna be okay. Then four eyelashes, I'm using Adele today. It's quite long, but it's not ridiculous length. I just wanna more focus on lashes. Looks quite good. I'm gonna start to put the powder orange on top of cream. So these are loose color powder, pigment powder. So carefully. Start little by little. So you need very small amount at the time to not to make a mess. I'm working the color on the tissues like this so I can get rid of excess. And bottom, I'm using smaller brush. Just work delicately. Then just leave it like this with between foundation. I think it's nice just color disappears like that. So cream color is now get set with powder orange. It's nice color. I'm gonna touch up bottom waterline with pencil. Also go through with soft gray eyeshadow. So it's a bit more smoky. And now with very thin eyeliner pencil, just randomly maybe five lines like very long eyeliner one two and make it different lengths as well Four. like this then put this round things 70s like peacock feather It's nice, some of them are a bit further and some of them are more inside, it's a bit smaller. So it's a little bit more random. Like this. It's 
it's nice to be long and big in the middle. Like that. I think it doesn't have to be so precise. It's cute, like quick paint. Switch to watercolor makeup. It's from MAC and with very, very small brush. Paint the inside to white. Again, this doesn't have to be so precise, but clean enough. I think it's cute, like a child painting. Go through black. If you want to make it stronger, some parts, and tidy up a little bit. Now, put the mascara on the bottom. Careful with the skin, because we can't really use the remover anymore. So take your time. Now we can put some green inside here. I think it's dry, so just a little bit in the middle. Blue or green is nice, I think. This green feels a bit faded, so it's perfect for 70s with orange, I think. Again, it doesn't have to be so perfect or anything, just to see the color. I think it's more playful. powder the skin put some brush uh, pink would be nice like soft pink more in the middle under the orange then I'm gonna do the lips gonna do pink liner Then pillow inside, quick mix with few cream colors. It's not really a lipstick, it's a bit more childish and fun. Mix green stronger a little bit. In my decades film, I lapped my hair like this with this beautiful swash scarf, which is um, really nice, more modern 70s. There were so many ideas and fun things in 70s references and hope you enjoyed it.